Hey YouTube, Kayak DIY here, and right now I'm going to go over a little bit of a talk about fish finders. So many of you guys were wondering about what kind of fish finders you should be putting on your kayak, and that kind of just depends on what type of fishing you're doing. Um, this actually comes into a perfect point to talk about it because I'm actually looking at relocating myself right now to different waters, and so my needs are changing. And I'm actually going to be going into more of a little bit shallower waters, almost like a, a flat water. And so I initially was using um, a low rance elite uh, four. Uh, that's that's what I was using as my main setup for my Hobie Pro Angler. But moving to Florida, possibly just considering this at the moment my needs are going to be changing and so if I end up doing this uh, I'm going to be in a little bit shallower water so I don't need so much of the depth uh, sonar as I do the sides so I'm looking at side imaging and Hummingbird has a new product called the <coughs> pardon me I got a cough right now has a, a Hummingbird Helix 5 SI um, it's kind of their entry level fish finder that gets you side imaging at a more affordable price, something that you would normally expect in the thousands of dollar fish finders. So that's probably likely what I'm going to end up switching to. The Hummingbird Helix 5 SI runs about $499. Um, and then you have a KVD special edition model of that, which also you can get for $499. And that one actually comes with some preloaded um, hot fishing spots uh, for in the southern states. <laughs> and it comes with, um, I believe, three fishing lures. But that's not entirely what this whole entire video is about either. Um, one of the most common fish finders that people are buying right now for their kayaks is the Lowrance 4X HDI or the Lowrance 4 HDI. The Lowrance 4 HDI has a GPS. Um, the Lowrance 4X X means no GPS. <clears throat> Got a couple of these in. Um, these here are the 4X HDI. Uh, if you haven't already and you checked out my giveaway that I had on the channel, um, that's going to be ending here at the end of April. Um, I was giving away a Lowrance 4X HDI. And I originally was giving away the one with the lower end transducer, but I ended up getting a bunch of these units in, which have the upgraded um, dual imaging transducer. Uh, so it has the... It is the 8455 kilohertz um, along with the 83 and 200 kilohertz. And that's what provides that photo like uh, image uh, representation of the bottom. So that's where you're really utilizing the full capabilities of the Lowrance 4X HDI. Um, the HDI stands for the hybrid dual imaging. And so if you get the fish finder that only has the 83200, you're not going to be taking advantage of the full capabilities of the HDI unit. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, these, every once in a while, come up on sale. Um, so just keep an eye out for them. You can actually purchase these items from kayakdiy.com. We'll also have a link in the video description below if sometimes we're not the lowest price we'll try to link you up with the place that is the lowest price because that's why we went into this was to provide you guys with quality products at the lowest prices and if you couldn't find them show you how to build them that's what we do so let's talk about this fish finder so the Lowrance 4X HDI uh, yeah when you have that hybrid uh, transducer you have the 83 kilohertz and then you have the 200 so that's something that comes with the base model one uh, the hybrid one has actually four uh, kilohertz ranges that it can read. So 
when you're working with the 83 kilohertz, you have a 120 degree cone. So it's a round cone, you have 120 degrees, so it's reaching out quite a ways from your, your vessel. And that has a 120 degree uh, angle, the 83 does. When you use the 200 kilohertz, you narrow that down to half. You're at a 60 degree cone. So fish have to be within that 60 degree cone in order to show up. Now, when you end up going into the 800 and the 455, that's with the hybrid transducer. Um, that's the one that typically is a $100 extra transducer. But if you buy it together with the unit, um, you know, lately they've been coming down in price a lot. You can get really good deals. And we'll try to link you up to those in the video description below. Uh, the 800 kilohertz has a 30 degree cone, so it cuts it down in half again. So the 200 kilohertz was at a 60 degree cone. Uh, the 800 kilohertz is at a 30 degree cone. Uh, the 455 kilohertz is actually a 55 degree cone. So it kind of falls between the 200 kilohertz and the, the 800 kilohertz. Now you take those combined and you start producing the hybrid dual imaging, which gives you that very, very crisp, uh, good resolution uh, picture representation of what is going on in the bottom. And what that does for you is it lets you see things like um, tree branches and then um, such uh, different uh, terrains on the bottom. And, you know, if you're looking for, let's say, like bass fishing, um, with bass fishing, you uh, want to kind of know your terrain. Bass like to hang out in the, the fallen trees that are on the bottom. Um, certain other fish do too. And you'll actually be able to see that on the, the fish finder when you're in the hybrid dual imaging mode. Uh, so some of the other things you can do, you can uh, actually split screen so you can have more of a tra traditional and then you can have your hybrid on the bottom. And with that kind of being said, that kind of just describes it a little bit um, of what it is and how it works. Now let's open up one of these. Um, I figured, you know, some of you guys might want to actually see what's inside of them. So. So this is what we got when we open it. You got the transducer here, and then the unit is in these packing cartons. So there's that, we're gonna set that down. We're going to then look in here some more. This is our transducer. And I'll take measurements on this too as well for you guys that are looking to build mounts and such. I'll take measurements of that here shortly. You got a power cable here. You got an inline fuse. We have your mount. And mind you, I haven't actually opened one of these here before. I haven't had to. Um, so you're gonna get a full um, kind of first, first person uh, review here on what I think of it and what it looks like. So this here looks like the mount for the fish finder. Uh, transducer. So that's what this is. And then these here, these here appear to be, yep, these here are little rubber uh, caps for the back here. So if you ever want to pull the unit off, um, let's say you don't want to leave it on your kayak or your boat or whatever you're putting on, these little caps here cover up the ports on the back. 
And then we got pretty much everything out except the paperwork here. So paperwork, we got limited warranty paperwork. We have the operation manual. I'll just kind of page through it here. Looks like it actually has a pretty good manual. It looks pretty clear, pretty uh, easy to read. And it has a lot of uh, graphic like screenshots to show you kind of how to navigate through the different modes. So looks like a good one. Looks like they did a good job. Uh, transducer installation manual. These are the kind of graphics that it has. So pretty clear graphics once again. And then this is the installation guide. Oh, this is kind of nice. So it all folds out. And so you have uh, templates and everything here. So that, that's pretty handy as well. So they definitely uh, did a great job with the paperwork that they provide with the package. So let's uh, open this up here. This is going to be a little bit lengthy video, but I'm not going to cut it out. I want you guys to get a full idea of what to expect and what I'm seeing um, and kind of as if you were unboxing it yourself. So we got the unit here. I'm just going to set it down on the plastic here. As far as the, the actual mount itself, uh, looks like it will have a lot of different mounting options that would work really well. Um, one of them that comes to mind really quickly with me is uh, for a DIY mount idea for your kayak if you want to make it removable. If you guys have track mounts on your kayak, you could take some cutting board material, just a simple Walmart cutting board, cut out a template here, just a little bit oversized to this. Mount this to the cutting board and then you could actually drill holes in the cutting board, one on each side and you can actually track mount it. So just make the, um, take some T-bolts, run it through the cutting board, and you can make this on a track mount. So you can slide it on and off. If you want to have a battery and everything in line with the unit, so let's say, uh, there we go. So if you want to have this all in line with the unit, you could actually take like a electrical housing uh, box and they actually have some electrical housing boxes that are on Amazon. And you can find one that fits, you know, like a seven amp hour battery and put the seven amp hour battery in that electrical box and then use a cable gland to run the power out. And then you could actually just have a, uh, have this mount here on right on the, the box. And what you'd essentially be making is you'd be making the cell block which I don't know if you guys heard of that, but the cell block is a product. It runs 50 to 60 bucks. Um, it has a battery in it, and it allows you to track mount a battery and a fish finder unit all in one. Um, so you could make your own if you wanted to, just using a electrical battery or electrical housing box. Um, those are available on Amazon and a bunch of other places, and they'd easily fit a 7 amp hour battery. But here's the unit here, and now we'll uh, we'll just end up skipping to the unit when it's on, and I'll give you a kind of a, a little show of what it looks like when it's on. It'll go into a demo mode. So we currently have the unit on in demo mode. So when we boot up the unit without the transducer connected, it asks us, do you want to go into demo mode? I hit enter, and then I end up in demo mode. So if I hit right here, this here is like the window selection. I'm currently in a split view, so I have my hybrid imaging uh, with down scan, and then I have the standard typical sonar uh, imaging. This is my preferred, preferred view um, that I would like to have probably if I was utilizing the unit um, most days. Uh, if you are fishing at night, you can actually adjust your brightness settings by tapping the power button. So you can draw the least amount of power that you know you need because at night you're not going to need much brightness. 
Um, you can also go into night mode, which provides a lot of contrast. Um, night mode will put you into a green color. So it's kind of cool. And menu, if you hit menu once, you end up with all these uh, options. So you got the range of feet. Um, you can select your frequency. Right now it just has 455, 800. Um, we don't have the transducer plugged in right now. Uh, but you have options also for uh, 83 and 200 usually. Um, you got ping speed, down scan options, so you can noise rejection on, surface clarity, split zoom, you can change the color tones. So you got purple, you got yellow green, reverse grayscale. and white background. The white background really creates a lot of pop. We'll just leave it on that one for now. If you hit menu again, one more time, you end up with these options. So you can change the language, audio, all those type of settings. Sonar. on we got fish mode on we got standard US measurements as well as other options here just so you can see there simulator And that's kind of a look at the menu options there. Um, you also have the navigating so you can change how your screen is split so you can sprint it in portrait mode. Right now we're in the landscapes. You can also show just traditional sonar or you can switch and show your hybrid down scan imaging. Um, here in just a sec. And it looks a little bit different because we have this color scheme on here. And if you ever end up messing up anything, you can actually restore everything to default. So, there's kind of a look at it. Um, I think it has really good resolution. Plenty of resolution for a typical kayak uh, kayak fisherman, and on the like as far as the price tag, you really can't beat this unit. I mean, you're not gonna find a whole lot of units that are gonna be really any better than this for the money. So, hopefully, you like this. If you haven't already, end up uh, taking a look at some of our other videos, and also make sure you guys go and just just go to the video for our giveaway. Our giveaway ends April 31st of this year, 2015, and you have a chance to win one of these units. As you can see there, there's proof. You're actually gonna end up having a chance to win two of these units. And we did end up upgrading to these units. We were previously gonna be giving you guys the, the regular ones that have just the simple skimmer transducer um, that is the 50 and 200, I believe it was, or I mean 83, 200. And uh, now we end up upgrading the units. So you guys are going to get the hybrid down imaging uh, capable transducer. So just go ahead, go to the, uh, the video and put your name in and hopefully you win.